Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode with us RGJ Trains at David Junction and I totally need the cheer, you've got to do it on this video Rob, you've got to get the little yay, because I've got it right this time. Okay. But the bigger cheer of all is with that step further to getting the line running again. Obviously a few things that hopefully going to happen in this episode, Rob is going to hopefully get this started adding to the Corex. To give us that that nod of approval just saying well done <laughs> you got it right now i do want to thank everyone as well obviously in the desperation for my rocket glue running out and trying to continue with the viaduct um i went into our model shop unfortunately i didn't have any in so i was recommended these two unfortunately pros and cons everyone on their comments as well yoohoo um has issues like spider webs when you use it and this is super glue while some people do use it for their kits my issue is one part that i need it needs to be quick drying where both of these have like a drying time and during live builds you don't want to sit there for me five minutes holding it so they will be used in fact rob's probably going to use the yoohoo boohoo Yoo-hoo, I like yoo-hoo. No, it's oo-hoo. I like yoo-hoo. Okay. Let's see what the viewers think. What do you think, guys? Yoo-hoo, big summer blow out. If anyone's got kids or grandkids, they know where that's from. Um, so hopefully he's going to use that to attach to the Corex. Now, for me, the biggest priority, as we've said, I'm waiting today for a delivery. Thank you. We're not sure whether they want to be named. So, Mr. Hot Pants, we thank you mentioned they saw my post about the glue and they've ordered some glue so we should have that arriving today for me to continue with the viaduct and it's the other viaduct arriving today today or tomorrow today or tomorrow so hopefully i can't promise it's going to be fully completed by this week but hopefully right at the tail end we should be finished with the viaduct to cut out both sides and the mountain and if there's any time left i might start trying with a black wash on the slate mountains you're not looking there, are you? When I said that, I hope not. So, am I forgetting anything, Rob, or is that um, the plan for the episode? Oh, underneath, Rob's gonna be on his knees. He's gonna be sorting the bus wire out as well. Well, hopefully this week. You guys know what plans are made, so. Basically, we I did one set of bus wires going around the three-bot bus wire coming off the um, buck converters. Um, and I decided because we were given the connectors, um, Paul was it? Uh, I think yeah, I think it was Paul Woods that sent us all those electrical connectors. I'm sorry, guys, it gets confusing. I need to make a list for my list. So, with those, I'm going to go underneath and basically do a better job with better wiring to use those uh, connectors, so it it looks a bit tidier because it looks a bit of a rat rat mess at the moment. It's all right, it works, but for what you want to add to it, isn't it? Yeah. You need to make it for that. So obviously, yes, black washing. Obviously, once we have the line, I can start building that as well. So anyway, guys, packed, filled week, whether we get there. We've still got the last bit of photo editing and Some. your report's done, isn't it? But work and everything like that. So <laughs> best made plans and all. We know what they're like. Otherwise, I'll get round to it. Oh, our good news this morning about tomorrow as well yes so obviously it should be passed when we get there so hopefully it's not then going to be filled with bad news i'm going to leave a break just in case we cut it out because we don't want to add it in if no we can say it but it seems good yeah basically we had a phone call off my sister this morning and she's coming home tomorrow um she has my mic mm, yes i have my mic i got my mic lips <laughs> i got my mic lips but like us my mic you love it or hate it Basically, we're going to be hopefully going to collect my sister tomorrow. Um, but I will say once again, for the past month, two months, everyone that's been asking in the lives, the comments, everything, 
you have proper touch to hearts with that because As we, 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 we haven't met we haven't met each other face to face apart from like Jason Timber. Well, I haven't met Timber. You've met Timber. Yeah. I haven't. So it's a heartfelt thank you to all of you. We have shown her all the messages. The ones we haven't shown her, we've told her, yeah. and it has made a difference. It's because with working in healthcare, we know that recovery part of it is about your mental health state. So passing on these it's a fly. I don't Passi know. Passing on these messages has helped her mental health state. So yeah. from the bottom of our hearts, from me, Grace, my um, mum, Paul, her husband, Paul Francis, her son, we really thank you all. Yeah. We really do. It's been big, oh. big, big, big word. Big word for the year is tumultuous. Um, Where did that word come from? A dictionary. I swallowed one. Clearly. It's been an eventful year. It really has since March. Um, people have asking have been asking about if we're going to shows and everything. We're really sorry. This year we're not making any plans. Twenty twenty four. We hope to be the year where we can get out to shows. Um, I know people are going to get to this weekend. Hope you all enjoy yourself there. Yes. Um, Obviously, we might not have as many on the live. Yeah, possibly. Um, but it doesn't but, matter. It's. But thank you. End of story. Can't thank you enough. Thank you all, guys. So anyway, now the emotional part's done. Um, why do we always get emotional? It's for women that's supposed to be emotional. Anyway, guys, we're going to head off now and hopefully crack on with at least one or two things in the plan. If not, it's a sneak peek to what's to come. So, guys, bye for now, and we'll see you in this episode. Bye, guys. Right, so as Grace says, we've got the embossed paper for the... Um, uh, what's the word for it? Inclines or declines, as Grace may call it. And we're going to be using the... Uhu glue, not Yuhu, as Grace says. So I'm not going to bore you with a basically a long thing on it. I'm just going to hyperlapse it um, and to just see how it goes. I think it should turn out okay. So watch and enjoy, guys. Hopefully. Should have explained it on the other video what I'm going to do is I'm placing four pieces onto the board for some of it, gluing those in place and then what I'll do is I'll use the off cuts to fill in the gaps. Um, I've allowed, allowed a bit of overlay here so I can curl that in um, and then I say just run the scalpel across the top afterwards. I should have mentioned that at the start, sorry guys. I'm just going to wait for these two to dry because I really do want to make sure that they are stuck. Well, just found a piece they're not stuck. Um, just make sure that they are sticking properly. Then I'll trim these two down and I'll probably use one of the off cuts on those to fill this piece in. So I've got one complete piece so I can actually take a look at what it's like. Um, so I'll give you a show in a minute, guys. There is one thing I've noticed guys, just a little bit of a tip for you with this Uhu glue. Sticking it to Corex, it's probably best to wait for it to go a little bit tacky before actually applying the paper so it doesn't come off. You saw me just struggling a bit there with the edges that I've wrapped around. So yeah, wait for it to go tacky before actually setting the paper against it. It might help it a little bit. Right guys, so there it is. That's what I've done so far. Um, I've used an off cut for that center piece there in the center of the screen. Um, you can also see where I folded under under the bridge. Um, any off cuts I'm gonna use, I find I have, I'm gonna use them to fill that in. And then the top here, we're gonna use off cuts to cover that as kind of coping stones, I guess. I'm not going to bore you with filming all of it because you'll probably fall asleep halfway through it. But yeah, um, £26 for 16 sheets off eBay. Not the most cheapest, I grant you that, but they are gorgeous. Um, we're going to look into actually trying to do this ourselves. 
Um, oh, you can hear mum in the background. So yeah, it's just a case of being careful on the joins. I can see them here personally, because all well, I know exactly where they are. But if you're looking just like that on the video, I don't suppose you really can see it. And I think they do a cracking job. Anyway, I'll leave this next bit over to Grace. Thanks for watching. Just a quick add-on. I've now completed the front of this incline. And see some offcuts there, and they're going to be used to either cap it or do that back piece of the Corex there. And that comes all the way around to the other side. And this bit I've, uh, that's near the underneath of the farm area, I've just started to plaster that because we're going to obviously shape that and cut it in there. So the rest of it, where the, uh, what is it? What is it, Grace? The school and the headmaster's house, wasn't it? Yeah, but I'm still not making plans because. How many times they yeah. change? It was a rough idea, but there, so yeah. there we go. Hope that's okay. Hi Take guys. Care, guys. So my mountains. What we're planning to do is obviously the next stage of painting. But I found a little issue when looking online. A lot of the tutorials look at lighter stone and rock. Now you might notice under the colour here, it might not show as well. The slate is slightly different colour. You've got more of a purpley tinge and a greyish than a lighter grey so I'm definitely before I paint the mountains I'm gonna have an experiment which is why I'm creating a mini mountain and we'll use this as a kind of tutorial so it will be time lapse but before each section I'm gonna let you know so this is start to finish and that will be with the plaster bandage so the tips I give with this guys cut it into strips and use your warm water so that you can see it. Using warm water, when you use it, that just helps it set. So I'm gonna get um, and get that laid and put my teeth in and I'll see you guys in a bit. next part sculpt mold or little fluffy clouds so a simple sculpt mold is quite easy to use it's two parts sculpt mold to one part water now as I'm only doing this little section it will only be a small batch and then you just mix it together now if you're slow like me you can just add more water and another tip I've been given is to smooth it out on the actual place that you're sculpt molding also add a bit more water so just dab your fingers in the water to smooth it off so i'm going to crack on with this now before it dries and then we'll be the painting let's see how it goes well now usual as a thing for artists whatever you do once you cannot replicate I've just seen a spot that I've missed um, so this is probably slightly different texture to before but that did have a rocky texture too so what I'm gonna do is leave this to dry the plaster rolls take a couple of minutes to dry this tends to take a bit longer so I'm gonna leave that to dry and then hopefully have an experiment with colors what I'm going to do when I do paint is probably put it half down. I've seen different videos. One I saw, they actually started not with a black wash, but acrylic paint. And then they went over it with the different colours. But the other one I've seen is a black wash and then you slowly build up the colours. Obviously, it all depends because the slate is darker. I just need to affect. So I might even split it into different sections as well and try you know thicker black before I add different colors to it I'm not sure where I'm gonna go this is why I'm doing it on here rather than on my mountain so I'll let it dry and then I'll probably go straight to a time lapse with what I'm doing next. Hey guys so this week we said about getting the aqueducts sorry viaducts 
sorted and put up onto the layout. Now we knew that we would have to cuss off the bottom just so that the ends would all connect because the boards themselves are lower and because of me ballasting unfortunately one is not easy to remove. So we knew that job was ahead of us. What we didn't quite plan for though was it all put together to find out that we're actually short. So what I'm going to have to do here is kind of kit bash. So these are the blocks that you built up for the ends. So I can use both of them, it isn't a problem. One of them is four inches. Problem is we need to get to just under 10 inches. You can see in my little marker of where it needs to be. So adding the other one, a bit too short, but if I, instead of turning this one up, I keep it at full length, I make the length that I need. So a little bit of kit bashing is gonna happen for this bit of the kit. Now the end bit is hidden, but it also comes with extra paper for you to use. That's the brilliant thing. So I've not got the sheet here, but the instructions might show you is with your sheets that you have the inner tunnel, you also have some spare brick paper as well as the initial end sheets anyway. I don't know, that can't actually be seen, can it? So what I'm gonna do, guys, is kit bash this and then use the additional sheets to just add the brickwork onto. And again, kit bash this side. So when it's together, that will go out as do when you create your box. And then I will create another one here. So there is a plan. We're just gonna see how it goes. So I'm gonna crack on with it and see if I can kit bash this. See you in a bit. can't believe we've made it this week so what we're leaving off with now is the fake kind of try out slate that I've made is drying so I can't continue with that now what I've done is because of the difference I've added on with the spare sheets that they give you they do come with spare sheets in this kit now to get it to line up there is the gap here this is usually for the fascias I will try and sort something out, but it is not seen because it's at the end. And also there is a difference in height here. However, it is gonna be cut down anyway because of the height difference between the boards. So these will go at the end and you won't really see them as much. So hopefully guys, we've got quite a few bits to get on with next week. Obviously finishing, getting it all glued together, get my fascias on. And then hopefully we can look at getting that line running. So thanks all for tuning in this week. Please like, follow us if you haven't hit that bell button. That gives you more chance of seeing any updates. Thanks again, guys. And we'll see you, well, not the live, that would have been last night. So we will see you during the week. Bye for now, guys. <laughs>